many people have asked me how to make an MPPT solar charging controller. It is a modern battery charging technology which is widely used for solar. I found the information of MPPT solar charging controller on the internet which was made by Devashish Dotto. But there are some problems. He stopped updating this solar controller in July 29, 2016. And with that he wrote on his page, I am no more working on this project due to some issue. This controller is not working so don't try to build. If you don't have enough knowledge in this field, you may take idea from this project. After then in 2019 another wishman tried to update his solar charging controller again. That is why I visit his page to collect information. And when I get there I realize that he saying he made some modification to the circuit and some change to the code. And as a result he has been able to build this MP2 solar charging controller correctly. But my guess is maybe there was a fault in this circuit. Now the question is Devashi Dotto has made a such a beautiful MP2 solar charging controller that everyone will be happy to see. And before that he already made version 1 and version 2 which working properly. Although they are not MP2 solar charging process but because version 3 has MP2 solar charging system its solar charging controller may not be working properly. And a lot of people are waiting to see this solar charging controller in the right way. Even if you see in the Dutto's comment that a lot of people are asking the same question. This is why the voltage power section is not on. Why is the battery is not charging? Driver IC is not working properly. Besides, many people say that his mousepad has been burned out. Okay, no problem. You will get the answer to all your question today. Now let's find out what was the problem with Devashi Dotto's version 3 solar charging controller. And how can that be done properly? Watch the video from beginning to end. You will get answer to all your question. And with that, I will tell you to stay home and stay safe. This video has been sponsored by GLC PCB. This company make prototype PCB with new generation technology. From here you can order up to maximum 6 layer PCB and most attractive offer you can choose any color of PCB absolutely free of cost. You can also choose SMT service to save your time or make your work easier. And of course you can enjoy worldwide shipping in just 7 days. All those fun offer you can enjoy for just $2. I must say for additional information you can visit their website. Ok guys this is the MAPT solar controller circuit diagram. Let's make it exactly look like this and let's observe how is it working and where is the problem. With this in my mind I have gathered all the component that I need and the next step is to make it physically. With this in my mind I mount the solar input terminal inside the copper dot board. I will also put the ACS712 module on the breadboard to properly understand the current consuming of the solar panel. Then I will use Z44 MOSFET which I will put in the heatsink and after tighten through the nut bolts and after I will put them inside the copper dot board. In the next chapter you need here 33 micro handy inductor which is a very important object for your project and definitely you need a MOSFET driver IC. I have used here IR2104 IC which will provide the correct voltage at the gate of the MOSFET. And then you must have a microcontroller. I will use the Atmega 328P microcontroller here. You can use Arduino Nano if you want. Ok guys this is your little circuit diagram I made like Devashish Dotto. Which took me about 2 hours to make it. I think it looks not bad after it is done. To check it out properly now you need at least 50 watt solar panel. <laughs> and good time are not accompanying me. Because it is the month of August. It is constantly raining in India at this time. So that is why I may not get the right ampere from the solar panel but that's enough for my work. And after then I place the solar panel at the 45 degree angle under the cloudy sky. Ok guys everything is done properly. It is better to say here you need 5 volt to run this microcontroller and current module. Which is why I will use a buck converter here which I will add us to the solar panel and turn on the buck converter potentiometer and select 5 volt. Then I will add it to my MPVT solar controller. And you know guys, you definitely need a 20 into 4 LCD which will be controlled by I2C interface which will allow you to control it via I2C interface which is attached to my LCD. After that I will fasten the wire of the solar panel screw terminal. And see, my MPPT solar panel is turned on properly. And you can see guys, the display is nicely accurately divided into solar panels, battery analyze, output. Which seemed like an advanced process to me. 
Okay guys, now let's see how my voltage are being output and see from the solar panel I am getting 21 volt and you can also see guys where the solar panel display look pretty much the same that is not bad. Okay, now let's measure the output and see how much voltage is coming out from the output. The display here showing me 0.5 volt and after I remeasuring the multimeter, it's showing me the same here. This means no voltage is coming out of the output until I am connect the battery. On the other hand, PWM is 0%. That means PWM is not being generated in any way. So let's connect the battery to the output and see if some PWM signal is generated. This is why I use here 7 ampere 12 volt battery here and you can see the battery status displayed when I connect the battery but within 30 seconds I could smell something burning due to which suspiciously I put my hand on the MOSFET and the MOSFET was horrible hot and so I quickly unplugged the battery connection unfortunately but still my finger burned beautifully in the heat of the MOSFET it is very funny <laughs> Then I checked the MOSFET and saw the MOSFET was completely short. This is because a diode must be added to the output of the buck converter. As a result, the battery voltage will not enter the circuit, but on the other hand, the voltage of the solar will enter the battery very easily and consequently maintain the ability to charge the battery. That was Devashish Dotto's first mistake. Okay, now this time, I will reconnect the battery to this board and see that there is no short circuit now and the MOSFET is very cold and even the battery voltage status is showing correctly. You need to know more information about this MFP solar charging controller. So that is why now is the time to know how it is work. If you don't know this properly, then you will not be able to build this MFP solar charging controller properly. First, the module ACS712 is used here to understand how much current is consuming the voltage of the solar. Then the signal of this module goes to the microcontroller and he realize how much current is being consumed and after then the 50 kW signal goes to the MOSFET driver IC from microcontroller. Okay guys here you can see HBRIS has been carried by two MOSFET which is giving 50 kW signal to the MOSFET driver IC and as a result in amplitude voltage entered the inductor and you know that guys through the collapsing process battery acceptable voltage is being created which is enough to charge the battery and the next question is what is duty cycle here? And how is the duty cycle being used here? When your battery is too low, then if you put to the battery in charging mode, you will see that the current is consuming much higher. On the other hand, when your battery is overcharged, the current consuming is very low. ACS712 model can understand this matter. And based on this, he sent a signal to the microcontroller. And based on that, PWM signal is generated when current is very consuming. Then PWM signal continues to give 100% signal. On the other hand, when the current is consuming is low, when the PWM signal generated is very low. I hope you understand this is the maximum power tracking system process. Ok guys, hopefully you understand how it works. The next mistake was he had used 220 ohm resistor and 0.1 microwave capacitor with an inductor. Due to which the magnetic flux is being lost during to the collapsing process here. Due to which the output voltage is not being generated. And the number 3 mistake here that he used MOSFET as a load switch. The output signal will be on when the battery voltage rise up 12, which is signaling from digital pin 6 to active the MOSFET. Here if I accept, I am using 7 ampere 12 volt battery, so it is not suitable for this linear voltage. Why? To test this, I have attached a filament bulb to a MOSFET. And then I stuck a temperature sensor of my multimeter with the help of a clip on the back of this MOSFET. And in my power supply, I select 9 volts. Now see, my current here is consuming about 1.5 ampere. On the other hand, my multimeter showing me it is heated above 100 degrees centigrade by just 1.5 ampere of current. Think about it. If it is heated to 100 degrees centigrade at 1.5 ampere, so how hot can a 7 ampere current load be? Think about it. Most of power is being lost due to this heat, which is I don't want in any way. For which here you can use relay instead of MOSFET that can do this job very nicely without warming yourself up. Besides, there is no problem with this controller, which I think. This was some minor problem that Devashish Dotto did wrong, but I would like to thank Devashish Dotto for making such a beautiful MPD solar charging controller system. So in the finally, I will check it. Is which working properly? And see, it is working properly without any difficult which I was hoping for. And here the battery status on the display is showing correctly. PWM signal is being generated properly. Also the solar panel is showing the voltage and current accurately. 
so I can assume that my solar control is working properly. And also I run this solar controller myself have been running continuously for almost 2 days and I got no more problem with that. I just modify the circuit but there is no problem with the code. So guys this is for today I hope you learned something new from this video. If you learned something new then like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you in the next video. Stay home and stay safe.